Hey guys, good morning to you. It's Brian and I'm uh, taking some time at the spa this morning to do a little bit of cleaning and we had a, a party here last night and a spa party. It was really, really cool. But um, I just wanted to share with you a little bit because I've had several questions uh, from different clients and just different people in the community that have been asking, you know, how, to, how will we do this? How have we grown so fast? Um, how do we get the results that we get with the body work that we do? And so I thought it would be really fitting to uh, take a minute and to just kind of give you the behind the scenes uh, for what normally you, um, you would not see, uh, you would not hear about. Uh, it's not something that um, I talk about a lot with with clients, um, the one thing that's important to know is that growing up for me, uh, religion, uh, faith, belief, Christianity, God, it was um, it, it was forced on me. Um, my dad basically drug us to church, and it. it it wasn't awkward for me because I was drugged to church. It was just awkward because uh, I watched the way he lived in church versus the way that he uh, he lived out of church, and there was a difference. So for me, it, it was really awkward to watch what I thought faith should look like. And so it's actually kind of altered a little bit my perception of of faith. Now, I've been I'm still licensed and ordained as a pastor, you know, or as a minister. I'm not doing uh, active ministry. I, I don't pastor anymore. I've been at uh, the mission for a number of years on the pastoral staff there. Um, why have I transitioned out of ministry? Well, I really haven't. I'm actually in a larger ministry right now than I've ever been involved in in my whole life. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's here in the spa. And some of you hearing this may think, well, you, you, you can't do that. You have to be in church. Uh, I would ask you the question, really? So can God only be at church? I don't think so. He's everywhere. He's in our homes. He's in home groups. He's in small cell groups. He's in prisons. Um, he's with you uh, at the bank. He's with you in the law office. He's with you in the courthouse. He's with you at Taco Bell, McDonald's, wherever you work, he's with you. And he's here at the spa. What I see happen on the table and what I see happen in this spa every day is totally amazing. We see God show up. We see Him healing people. We see Him restoring emotional brokenness. Uh, we don't often give you such a strong side spiritually of, of what we do here at the spa but we we don't preach we don't try to witness we don't try to get you saved here if someone begins to ask those questions man we will definitely take the next step um, we are a business we pay bills just like every other business um, so yeah am I doing this because I have to eat yeah I have to eat and I have to feed quite a few other mouths but I'm, I'm doing this because this is what's in my heart. Uh, I've known since I was 10 years old that I was, I was a healer, that I was called, ordained, gifted, talented, however you want to say it, by God, uh, to bring healing to people. And I've known that. And I just didn't know what to do with it. And so at this stage of my life, I'm embracing who God has called me to be, what he has called me to do. And this is why you see happening what is happening. 
So for those of you who wonder, how are we doing this? How are we growing so fast? How are we getting so busy? Uh, how do we get the results that we have? I know there's a lot of talk uh, through social media and even in our community um, about the results that people have been getting that come to Revive Life Spa. I, I just want to be real clear and let you know it, it's God. Um, yes, do I know my anatomy? Yes, very well. Have I trained? Do I continue to train? Yes. Um, am I disciplined to continue to, to grow and, and follow our core values? Yes. But if God does not show up and do what he does best when you're on my table, I, I can't produce those results. So I do my part and he does his part and together we see people being restored, renewed, and revived. That's why we use that phrase because that is the heartbeat of what happens at the spa. When you come here, we begin to renew your life. We begin to restore your life. And then over a little bit of time, you realize that you have been revived. You feel different, you think different, you act different. Um, you become more mobile, you have less pain, your attitude changes, your outlook on life changes, the way you interact with people and family and on the job begins to change. This is why I do what I do. This is what my purpose is. And so for you, what I would say, tap into what is it that you're called to do? What are you gifted at? What do you enjoy? Uh, because when you begin to do those things, you will truly begin to uncover a secret in life that most people never find. So I hope this is helpful to you to see the, the backside of who Revive Life Spa is, uh, who I am as a therapist, I think it, it really gives you more of the spiritual side of what gives me the power and the strength to do what I do, uh, how we get the results that we get. Um, you know, just a, a, a quick quick story uh, that, that shows just how good God is. Uh, we have a client that um, is young and uh, the parents reached out to me because their daughter through the course of the summer uh, had experienced a spinal collapse with a 50 degree curve of scoliosis curve in her spine. They reached out to me and they said, hey, um, just in brokenness, can, can you help? Is there anything that you can do uh, to help? And so I, I looked at the x-rays and I'm like, well, under the basic principle alone that muscle moves bone, it always has and it always will. When I began to look at that, I don't have to be some brilliant surgeon and their surgeon is working with them on that. We're not gonna interfere with that treatment at all. We're gonna work with a care plan to help increase the quality of her life, to help increase mobility, to help decrease her pain, to help her do the things that she wants to do at 14 years old because they can't get her into surgery right now. And I believe that, that when they get to that point, uh, she'll be ready for surgery if it's necessary. And it, it, it'll be better, she'll heal faster, she'll heal quicker. So we did one session with her. And in one session, her pain went away. In one session. In fact, uh, the mother reached out to me and uh, later and told me that when they got in the car, uh, she started crying. The daughter started crying because for the first time in a long time, she had sat down with no pain. That's pretty amazing that God shows up and he brings healing to people through using Revive Life Spa, through using our therapist, our esthetician, our medical assistant with cellular body work, so this is who we are, this is who I am, this is how my faith is involved with what I do. 
I hope this has been helpful for you to see. And feel free after watching this video, if you have any questions, uh, you know, we really, we want to be an open book because the one thing I love more than doing what I'm doing, I love training people. I love teaching people. I, I love pouring my life into people to help them become better than they are, to help them dream bigger than they've ever dreamed. And to me, that makes my life rewarding. So guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions. Uh, we respond quite promptly and we'll get your questions answered. So y'all have a wonderful day.